Hi, I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour and the author of Mrs. Geek's Guide to Google Photos. This is a lesson on how to edit photos using the Google Photos app on a mobile device. This happens to be an iPhone in my hand, but it works pretty much the same on an Android. So I'm going to go into Google Photos, and I already have some sample pictures gathered in an album called Class Edit Examples. So I go in there. This one is way too dark. You tap on it to bring up just the one picture, then you tap on the pencil. That means edit. And there's the first thing that comes up is a bunch of filters. That's what all these are called, filters. Then there's adjustments, and then there's crop and rotate. But I just want to show you the filters on this one, and one called auto. Boom! Look how much brighter our faces are now. And I can see what it looked like before by touching and holding. That tells me what my original looked like. I let go, and it shows me how the edited version looks. And I like that. I tap Save. It's telling me that this photo is in albums. Yes, I know. So it's going to be adjusted everywhere. Now I can go to the next picture. And this one is also dark. Edit Pencil, Auto. Wow, that looks lots better. But let's see if maybe I like any of the other filters. I can just tap on another filter and see if I like it. Nope, don't like that one. Ooh, that one's nice. But maybe that one is a little bit too much. If I tap on the same filter again, it brings up this slider, and I can use less or more of that particular filter. I actually don't like that one at all. So I'm going to go back. How about that one, Palma? That one is pretty, but yes, I want a little bit less of it. Tap it again, drag the slider down a little bit, and done. And save. And now I'm just going to back out to show you those two pictures have now been improved. How about this one? This one is crooked. If you tap the Edit Pencil, the third tool is Crop and Rotate. And the way you rotate is to drag on that zero point. So as soon as you touch it, a grid line appears. And you can drag it one way or the other until the horizon is straight. And that looks good. I also, though, want to crop it, and I want to make sure that it would fill the screen on my computer or my phone. So I tap this little button in the lower left-hand corner, which gives me the different aspect ratios. And I like 16 by 9. If it is stays at 16 by 9, I know it will fill the screen. Now when I crop it, it will stay at that, at that ratio. OK, that's good. And I tap Done. Now, I always want to try an auto filter. So that's good. And once again, I can see what it does by touch and hold. I'm going to save that one and go on to the next picture. This one is also crooked. I tap Edit, Crop and Rotate, Drag until the mountain looks straight. But now I want to crop to change the composition of the picture. I want the mountain not in the center. I want it kind of over on the th third side. I like that. Then I do an auto. And that didn't do hardly anything. So I'm going to go now into these adjustments, the middle button. And there's one I really like called pop. I drag that over. And look how the picture does just that. It pops. There's more definition. And I think that all looks good. I can touch and hold to see the original. Ooh, doesn't that look better? And save. Next picture. This one is good, but my face is in the dark. Pencil, auto, and it's lightened up. Save. See how easy this is? <laughs> And this one is just slightly crooked. Pencil and crop and rotate. 
just a little bit crooked there. But I also remember this being lots bluer. I'm going to show you a fun feature called Deep Blue. It's on the adjustments, and it's part of the color. Notice I can just slide this color over. To the left gets me no color at all. All the way to the right gets me lots of color. But I just want bluer sky and water. If you tap on this little down arrow, you get more adjustments for color. And at the bottom, there's this one called Deep Blue. You can play with all the others, but I'm just going to drag the Deep Blue over. Notice how the sky and the water got bluer without making the grass so green, and the white clouds stay white. Now here's something that distressed me for a minute. How do I get back out of here? You have to tap on that arrow again. See, so tap once and it opens it up again and it closes it up so that you can see the rest of it. And I save that. And now this photo was actually taken with this device. And this is the one thing that won't happen on an Android. Everything else I've shown you works exactly the same on the Android, but the iPhone asks for permission before it will modify a picture that still is on this device. I tap Modify. So just one last thing to show you. What if for some reason I decide I don't like the way the mountain looks and I want it to go back to the way it was originally? I have to open it up, tap the Edit Pencil, then tap the three-dot menu, and Back to Original and save. So this is non-destructive editing. You can always get back to your original. And that is editing on a mobile device using Google Photos. Have fun!